Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're not, I am going to be doing a favorites video today and I'm still recovering from some sickness. So sorry if I sound a little different, but I'm excited to do this video because I've actually never done one of these, I don't think. And I really like watching them on other people's channels. I find them super interesting and helpful. So off the top of my head, I just rounded off 10 of my favorite things from this year so far so it's all like very relevant and what's the word i'm looking for current <laughs> it's kind of like across categories beauty tech fashion just like random things that make my life better i feel like so i will link everything in the description box for you guys and if you like this video this is obviously only a list of 10 things that are just on the top of my head as favorites but there's so many other things that I love too so I can do more if you guys like it and if you want to see like my fails too like things that I ended up not liking I can also share that I just figured today I would focus on the favorites so let me know what you guys prefer and if you haven't subscribed it means so much when you do let's get into it okay so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is actually my headphones I got the Apple, I think these are called, let's see, let's look it up so nobody yells at me. Okay, AirPod Max, yeah, okay. So I got the Apple AirPod Max headphones like a couple months back. Obviously, you guys have probably seen these everywhere. They are all over social media. They're all over the internet. I, everyone at the gym is wearing them. I literally see them everywhere. And I've wanted a good pair of like over the head, over the ear headphones for a while so i decided to give these a try and i ordered them off amazon the first pair that i ordered was actually the silver pair and then when i received them i realized the material here is like a cloth it's not like a super durable like leather or like a slidey leather or something it's cloth and it's white on the silver ones and the way that these go on you they hit like right here because they're like fully going over your ear. So I was like, wait, I wear like tinted sunscreen when I'm working out. Sometimes I go to the workout like straight from whatever else I was doing and I have makeup on or if I want to take pictures with these on or something like what is going to happen to that white fabric. So basically I asked a couple of friends who have the silver ones if they had makeup all over them and they were like yes that does happen and even mine are black but I can see like a little bit of makeup on them. It's nothing noticeable and it doesn't bother me too bad but I don't think you can really like wash this material easily. So that's something that I would keep in mind if you are thinking of getting these and you want the silver ones. Aside from that, I love them. I think they are so comfy. I think they're like really cute and fun, like trendy headphones as well. The sound quality is amazing. The battery on them lasts a really long time. I have like no complaints. They are, however, very expensive and I think they don't do anything that's like groundbreaking or insane i think you could definitely get like a comparable effect of headphones without spending as much money so i do love these and i would recommend them but i don't think you have to spend this much money to have a pair of over the head headphones that you really like i also do love the case i think it's really nice so it's kind of my review on these a lot of you have been asking what i think so there is a full review <laughs> Okay, and then the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is a handbag. I'm actually going to share two handbags here because I just couldn't decide which one I liked better. And I got them both this year and they're similar, so we're just going to dive right in. They're both Bottega bags, which are obviously very pricey and quite the investment. I think there's really good dupes for these bags as well. They don't have like hardware on them, so it's kind of like an easy thing to dupe. Like people wouldn't even maybe know that it was not the real thing, so I think Amazon has options or whatever but if you are looking for a bag to invest in and you want the real thing I highly recommend both of these so the first is the mini Jody bag which has been really popular for a while I was definitely late to the game but I just didn't think it was a bag that I would really use or like 
but fast forward to now I actually have two of these I have it in the um, like iconic Bottega green color which is the most perfect pop of color green is my favorite color and I love adding this to pretty much any outfit and then I also have it in the porridge color which is like a nice light tan color that matches everything as well and I just really love these bags because they're super wearable like I'm always grabbing them they go with everything they're really easy to like dress down or up so I think that this looks amazing with like jeans and sweats and anything really casual and I also love the way it looks for a night out if you're dressing up with heels and everything so I honestly want this bag in like every single color I think it is just so freaking good and I can't recommend it enough and it's pretty spacious for being a small bag as well and then the other Bottega bag that I'm obsessed with I got this when we went to France if you guys don't know you get like a little bit of a discount in Europe on designer things with like the tax and everything so it's kind of a hack this I don't even know the proper name for this I'm not like a I didn't grow up with like designer things or like know much about designer things where I grew up so I'm not very like knowledgeable in that way but I still enjoy them so you know burn me at the stake if you have to but anyways this is like their little dumpling bag this comes in a bunch of different sizes and I've always felt that the bigger size of this was too big for me I felt funny holding it and it just didn't feel right for me but this little version I'm obsessed with it's also pretty spacious for a small bag it's like magnetic with the little closure and this is that porridge color that I also have in the Jodi and it has a strap if you want to wear it like as a little crossbody which I really like it that way or you can like tuck the strap in completely and it's a little clutch so again it's perfect to dress up or for casual I also like that both of these bags don't have hardware because they're a little less gaudy and loud and I'm just really loving both of them so I had to share the next item I wanted to share with you guys is these Boston's from Birkenstock these have also been really trendy and really popular for a few months now I was slow to jump on this trend as well because I grew up having to wear a uniform to school and I guess that's like kind of irrelevant here but shoes was like the only thing that we could like really use to express ourselves so growing up in school I just remember like shoes more than anything I feel like these shoes were very very popular when I was in middle school and high school I don't think I had the Birkenstock ones I remember them being American Eagle was really big on these so I just associated this kind of shoe with my uniform for the longest time and I kind of refused to get into the trend because of that but over the past couple of months I've seen them styled so many different ways that really kind of opened up my perspective to them I started loving them again so I decided you know what they're Birkenstocks they're so comfortable they're slip-ons how convenient I'm just gonna get on the bandwagon so I ordered a pair and I'm a seven and a half I got a size 38 they fit great I love them. I've been wearing them non-stop. They're great for just like running out the door, running errands, for travel. I wear them on walks. I really do love them and I think there's a lot of ways that you can style these. So I'll try to put some inspo in here for you guys. And even if you would want to see a video just on styling those, I can do that because I know a lot of you have them. But I do love reluctantly so but I love them. Next I'm going to talk about like a little life thing that just brings me a lot of joy. So. You guys know I'm like a water bottle queen. I love my water bottle. It literally changed my life. I used to drink one ounce of water a day. Probably I'm not, I'm like literally not exaggerating. Before I got a water bottle, that kind of made me more accountable for that. And it's just a, a lifesaver for me. But an issue that I started having with my water bottle was it just wasn't aesthetic. And I really enjoy things being aesthetic in my life. The girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. So if you don't, agree with that that's fine but if you know what I'm talking about you just you get it so my water bottle was like always just haunting me being like this weird plastic nuisance in my life so I upgraded to an aesthetic water bottle and I actually got two so I'm going to show you guys both of them this is not really like a water bottle in a traditional sense it's more of like a tumbler glass cup situation but I think this one is actually my favorite I bring it everywhere kind of like it is a water bottle I love the feel of it it just like fits in my hand so easily and I don't know it's just like very aesthetic and that makes me happy um, it doesn't keep your water like necessarily super cold a lot of people ask that question but I'm not a super cold water girl like I'll drink room temperature water I kind of like it better I feel like I drink more water 
that way yeah so i love her super simple got it off amazon got clayton one of these as well it's black one he loves it and i don't know having it like in a straw it's so convenient it just love the other version that i got is like more traditional water bottle it looks like my um old one that's not aesthetic but this one is aesthetic and she looks like this so it's very similar to that one in tone and color and everything this one is just like a little bit bulkier than that so i've been preferring the tumbler lately but this is great as well it's glass i think maybe that's plastic i don't know and a lot of people ask me who purchased this as well what i did about the straw because the straw is like a little tight in this water bottle like it was kind of hard to use so i actually took the top of my straw off so it's just like the circular part it doesn't have that little like nipple thing on it um and that helped me so there you go all right another thing that i feel like i was semi reluctant to get and love is an ipad so just got this this year and I feel like so silly admitting this. I don't know why, like I don't, you shouldn't be embarrassed to have an iPad or something, but I literally love this thing. I think it's so great. It has been probably the biggest game changer for me travel wise because it's a lot nicer to have than my laptop, like on planes and just on trips and stuff instead of lugging around my huge laptop. This, because we have the little keyboard attachment to it, is basically a laptop this is really nice when I'm like watching shows on a plane or a movie like it's just so much smaller and more convenient you can always have it out whereas they like make you put your back or your laptop away during certain points and then for emails and stuff when I'm traveling and just staying at a hotel or an Airbnb or whatever this is really nice and easy for emails instead of having that huge laptop so I don't know I just love it I also love playing games on it on the plane I play Angry Birds when we're traveling now which is so funny I'm like a little iPad kid but it's honestly really nice I'm not gonna lie and I prefer going on like Pinterest or doing online shopping on this versus my laptop a lot now just at home so weirdly enough I'm an iPad kid okay so the next thing is gonna be um, a beauty product and you guys have probably seen me talk about this on Instagram if you follow me over there but the YSL skin tint has been my obsession for foundation for months now it is so good I'm loving it especially in the summer months because it's like lighter it's very like breathable and it looks exactly like skin super natural looking and I don't feel like my makeup is like caked on especially in the heat humidity um, if I'm going like swimming or traveling anything like that it's just so good i also love the way it smells which is so random and it's not a reason that i would like use a foundation but it's just a side note i think it smells so like luxurious and clean and simple it's not like a scented thing either i'm just i just have to share that i love the way it smells packaging is super nice it's very like sleek and it looks gorgeous on the counter or whatever these are just like weird things that don't even matter for a foundation but i appreciate them aside from that i just love the way it wears i love the way it looks my other products go on top of it beautifully i'm pretty much always wearing that at this point and it's just really freaking good so i i use two shades of it when i'm a little bit lighter i'll use seven and when i'm a little bit more tan i'll use eight also, a side note, I don't know if you guys follow Jordan Sloan. She is also a blogger and she is so good at makeup. The other day she was doing like a little series on her stories where she was sharing, there's like a website where you can look up, she has like acne prone skin. So there's a website where you can look up products and it will say if it has pore clogging ingredients in it, which you need to watch out for if you have acne prone skin. And there was so many products that did have it that we like all love for example like the charlotte tilbury flawless filter does have pore clogging ingredients and like not everyone needs to avoid pore clogging ingredients even though it sounds like we all should you can be fine just depending on how your skin is or whatever but she was like i can't use products that don't have that and i remember she posted the ysl foundation and was like this skin tint is incredible and i'm so happy because it doesn't have pore clogging ingredients so i was like Oh, that's so good to know, but also I still use the flawless filter, so I don't know what it's worth to me, but I had to share that. 
Okay, next thing I'm gonna share with you guys is a jewelry item, and it's actually these two bracelets that I have on and I pretty much always have on. So these are from the brand Orium, which is also um, an influencer's brand, Cass D'Amico. I don't know if you guys follow her. She's actually like best friends with Jordan, so funny. But this is her brand. She makes beautiful jewelry, and she pairs these bracelets together. I saw them on her, and I purchased them a while back, and I have not stopped wearing them ever since. They're like little cuffs, and I am not like a huge bracelet person. I've had this one on for a while, and I just don't take it off. But I find bracelets are just so frustrating because I can never get them off and on easily myself. So I love these ones because you can just like slip them them off and on and I love the way that they look one's kind of like a hammered um, gold and then the other one's kind of like a rope material and they just go with everything I've been obsessed with them and I've been wearing them non-stop they're really great quality a bit of an investment for sure but it's been an investment that I've really liked so I wanted to share those with you guys all right next I have another little accessory fashion thing that's just like Kind of fun so you guys know that i'm a big fan of like glass station gas it whoa that was that didn't come out right gas station glasses you guys know i'm a big fan of gas station glasses <laughs> kind of just like the race car dad sporty looking glasses those are super fun i love the look that they give and um Kim K made the Balenciaga silver glasses, super famous this year, I feel like. And there's this dupe that's been going around. These are actually from Amazon. And they're like, I think they're under $20 or something. Really affordable, obviously much more so than a Balenciaga pair. And I just love them. This is what they look like. They're kind of like futuristic alien vibes and... They're just really fun. So I've been loving these. They're not very committal and they are very trendy. So I'm probably not going to love them forever and ever. But they're worth sharing because I do love them right now. Okay, the next thing is going to be another like beauty thing. So you guys know that Hailey Bieber came out with Rode Skincare, unless you've been living under a rock. And I've tried all of the products in the line. There is a moisturizer, a like peptide, um like serum gel situation and then this lip treatment so I like the lip treatment the best and that's why it's in this video this stuff is honestly incredible it seems strange because it's just kind of like a it's like a skincare and a makeup thing you put it on at night and it's super hydrating and moisturizing it's gonna protect your lips and like lip skincare is one of the most important things because your lips will age really quickly but so it's really good in like that skincare way but it's also just such a beautiful gloss i wear it all the time i have it on right now um over makeup or if i'm not wearing makeup i'll just wear this and i'll get tons of compliments and questions on what is on my lips and it's literally just like a clear gloss but it's so good to me that doesn't make that much sense because i'm like how are all i'm like how are all glosses not just equal i don't know why that doesn't make sense to me but this is this is better than other glosses so i'm just gonna put that out there um i think it might still be sold out right now but when this becomes available i highly recommend getting your hands on it and trying i prefer the unscented one the most but then for the scented ones i think the salted caramel one is better than the watermelon one um but i think they're all good and i just highly recommend them okay she knew what she was doing. All right, and then lastly, for a clothing item, I had to share. You guys know that recently this year with Boyd, which is me and Clayton's clothing brand, we came out with the high neck version of our cut it up tank, which is what I'm wearing right now in the vintage black color. So it's got this like raw hem, um, it's high neck. It's this like super stretchy, thick material. It's ribbed and I don't have to wear a bra with it, which is amazing. I'm a double D like D for reference and they're just so comfy they go with everything they're such a good basic and I've been loving it and wearing it non-stop that's pretty much it for this little roundup those were 10 of my favorite things from 2022 so far so like I mentioned before let me know if you guys want to see more of these or any video requests you have you can drop them in the comments and as always thanks for hanging out with me and 